Yo, what is up you guys, Flair here, and today we have the third episode of my Road to Glory running back in NCAA Football 14. And yes, you see him right there, Austin Morris. Check out I added a little bit of weight, you know, saying he got bigger once he went to college and all that good stuff. Put his arm build up a little bit, you know, just all that good stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is the third episode. If you missed the second episode, um... Austin Morris led his high school team to an undefeated season and went to the state championship game and won it. And then after that game, he chose which college he would attend and he picked Alabama. Now, the only reason I picked Alabama is because, I mean, I wanted to make it kind of realistic. Like, if you are supposedly the best running back in the nation from out of high school... And you have an offer from the number one team in the country, Alabama, who is known for their running most of the time. Yeah, I mean, going to go there. And I think this series will be interesting because I want to go against tough defenses. Obviously, SEC has lots of tough defenses. So you see right here, in the skill upgrade, 8,000, which is barely nothing because we got lots of points. And that was a nice career boost, lots of them. And... In this week's game, we are up against Virginia Tech. It's on a neutral site field. See, it says Chick-fil-A kickoff. Yep, it's very nice. And now they actually have the neutral site games like last year um, on the NCAA 13. You would just be on one of the team's fields even when it's supposed to be a neutral site. So here, my very first uh, action on a uh, on the field for college and we get an all right return 21 yards right there on the kickoff and yeah uh, this game is on Heisman after this game I would knock it down to I would knock it down to All-American just so I can get the hang of the college like being tougher against colleges and you know so I can move up on the depth chart and start soon and this was a nice punt return right here 18 yards on that one check this out Getting another punt return here, and we're already down seven to nothing as we just started the second quarter. And he tried kicking this one out of bounds. That was a nice pin, but I went over and catch it and get a pretty good 11-yard return. I mean, that's better than being pinned inside the five. So nice return right there. And yeah, uh, obviously since we're not starting yet, fourth on the depth chart, all we're doing is returning kicks and punts, and I make a pretty nice cut to the right there. Picking up 12 yards on that punt return, you know, anytime you get double digits uh, yards on a punt return, that's considered to be pretty good, because, you know, punt returning isn't that easy, definitely not as easy as kick returns, so yet another punt return here, and we cut back to the right, we've got open field, and that's another nice return, they take us down after a 19 yard return, and check this out, under a minute to go in the half, and we are down 21 nothing. First of all, what's up with our offense? And second of all, what's up with our defense? I just don't understand it. And we make another couple of nice moves right there. Getting a huge 37-yard return. But, uh, yeah, after another touchdown from Virginia Tech, we are on the board now. 28-7 is the score. I'm just surprised at the score and how we're struggling. Nice 24-yard kickoff return right there. And we did take on a field goal and get another punt return right here. Going to cut it back to the left and we get a couple nice blocks and that's a 15 yard return out to the 40. And check this out, we're down by 10 now with four minutes to go. And this field goal just might put it away for the Virginia Tech Hokies and it is up and it is good. So, yeah, I was really surprised. I mean, I have nothing to do with this really, honestly. All I do is return kicks and punts. This, the defense, surprisingly, just terrible against Virginia Tech, who's not even that good of a team anymore. And we're actually only down by six here. i got to try and get a good punt return to give my team good field position. And I had space, but the shoestring, stack, shoestring tackle stops me at the 35. And after an incomplete pass, obviously no time outs. And there's one second left, so it'll be one last heave. Trying to get the Hail Mary Miracle touchdown. And it is incomplete so we would go on to lose our first game remember i can't really do nothing about it all i do is return kicks and punts you see five kick returns on the day for 109 yards 21.8 average that's really good long of 36 hopefully i can return one to the end zone soon i also had eight punt returns for 100 yards 
And we are now into week two, which is a bye week, and we have a position battle. This would move us up to third on the depth chart. And I really like this in this game, how you can select the stadium. It's actually pretty cool. Um, there's, of course, the good old practice facility, which is outside, which is what they've always had. But added, in, added to it is the Nike practice facility and then also the, an indoor practice field, which is I think that's really cool. I mean, you can make your selection based on this. shows the weather in the middle there. So if it's raining, you know, go indoors. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But you see, I am on Heisman for this one. And uh, once we get into the next week, I would bump it down to All-American, which is no big deal, honestly. And, you know, Heisman against this Alabama defense with not too good of a line, it's not going to be easy for me to, you know, win these position battles. Got to get 550 points. And this one, we wouldn't even get halfway there. <laughs> But, I mean, that's no big deal, honestly. Um, you know, don't want to be starting right away. Um, Got to earn it. And we would fail that one. No big deal, honestly. <laughs> I keep saying that. But lots of other people aren't really winning these either. So you see here, we are into week three now. Once again, getting the position battle. I see I bumped it down to All-American. And once again, did a little bit better this time. Got past halfway but we would come up short so we don't win this position battle either and uh yeah so this is into week three i'll show you the i won't show you the game though the game will be in the next episode and uh, uh i'm sorry that i'm failing these but i mean it's not not very easy especially being on alabama against that tough defense and you know it's still just third week you know my first season in college with Austin Morris so uh yep gonna fail this one and I promise you guys once we get into like week week th uh week four or five we will get more some playing time at running back and uh yeah I'll be starting soon uh yeah so we dropped down to eight in the poll moved back up to seven after the bye week and here you see our week three game is at number three, Texas A&M. So that'll be in the next episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And as always, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Peace.